Hello friends, for those who don't know me, I am Twaling.2 Bookstagrammer and link for my Insta page is given in the description box. And for those who know me, hello friends, I am Twaling.2 and thanks for showing so much of love to my page. Today, once again, I am here with my new video. In this video, I am going to talk about e easy Indian reads, 5 easy Indian reads. If you like the content, do subscribe, like and comment. So without wasting much of the time, let's get into the video. My first pick is the Blue Umbrella by Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond is a nature lover and his stories are basically set up in the villages or in the Himalayas. In this book, the author has described about a girl Binya and his love for the Blue Umbrella. The book conveys the emotions like sincerity, innocence, love, care and hard work. The language is very simple and easy to comprehend. So pick up this book, read and enjoy. My second pick is Malgudi Days by R.K. Narayan. I don't have uh, the physical book hard copy, neither I have got the Kindle edition, but I'll definitely tell you about the book. The book was written first in uh, 1943 and then republished in 1982 or 83 by Penguin Publications. It's a collection of 32 short stories and uh, the book is set up in a village in South India where all the people, different people are living together and they share a bond of love, hatred, friendship, enmity. The language is very, very simple, easy to understand as the stories are, the short stories are there in the book. So there is like you can read one story at a time and you can enjoy the uh, other stories afterwards. Like this, you can continue with the book. You don't have to read the book, long story at a stretch. So for the beginners, it's one of the uh, best pick which I have found and you can go for any other book by R.K. Narayan also and you are going to love those books. He is an amazing author. My third pick is Life is what you make it by Preeti Shanoi. This book, you must have heard about this book. This is a right, top seller of 2011 and uh, Times of India bestseller also. This book is a story of a girl Ankita who is like a young girl studying in a college and she has got big dreams. She aspires to fulfill her dreams and to be successful in her life. But one incident changes everything. Her dreams are shattered and she is like how to fulfill her dreams, how to uh, come out of that incident. This book is not only a story of a girl who is struggling, but it conveys a very nice, motivating and inspiring message also. It tells the youth or you can say it tells a person that if you are really uh, working hard and if you are really uh, aspire to do something, nothing can stop you. You should have the willpower to fight each and every odd and fulfill your dreams. This is a lovely book. The language is very lovely, relatable book and you are going to enjoy it and you will feel very inspired and motivated after reading this book. My fourth pick is The Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. Jhumpa Lahiri is an American author who is Indian by origin and she is an award winning author. This book is a very nice, very simple and uh, relatable kind of uh, story. Uh, it's about a couple who shift from Calcutta to America and they how they struggle to settle down and get adjusted with that new place. Then their son is born and they, uh, they give uh, the name Gogol to their son. 
now when a google grows up he like he resents his name he doesn't like his name he always thinks that why i have been given this name this name has got no meaning in indian culture and uh, even then i have been given this name this name doesn't go with my identity of being an indian but later on he finds out that why the father he has given him this name that is the uh, basic concept of the story and i will not give you any kind of spoiler here the book is very very gripping the story is a uh, beautiful it will touch your soul and uh, the narration the language the characterization the uh, the trauma which the author has described uh, which the google goes goes through which he doesn't uh, doesn't because he doesn't like his name everything is wonderful in this book the, there is like a movie adaptation is also made uh, in which uh, irfan and tabu are there so you can watch that movie also along with the book My fifth pick is Palace of Illusion by Chitra Banerjee Divya Karuni. This book is this is an award winning book and is a piece of drama from the epic Mahabharata. This book describes the life of Draupadi from her point of view. Like whenever we think of Mahabharata we always think about Pandavas and Kauravas in the war and Bhishma Pitama but we had never thought about Draupadi her trauma her humiliation her journey her struggle everything we have never paid any attention towards that this book will tell you what exactly Draupadi thought about her life this is a must read the because of the content also i think this is one of the best books written by the indian author as far as the content is uh, concerned and the language is also very good easy to understand and comprehend and as this is a piece from mahabharata the character is from mahabharata it's very easy for you to relate and understand so don't miss this book this is one of the finest pick for the beginners so these are five easy indian reads hope you have liked the content of the video and do pick this book try to read them i'm sure you are going to enjoy them have a happy reading time and uh, thank you for being so patient and listening to me and if you have got any kind of recommendation do write in the comment section thank you bye bye